Motorcycle Live 2018. I'm sat here on a TT stand with Paul Jordan and Joey Thompson. Guys, I know Paul, you're straight back from Macau Grand Prix, a little bit kind of still jet lagged and, and struggling a little bit. But uh, first of all, how was Macau? First time for you? Yeah, Macau was uh, an experience on its own, to be fair. You know, like even the, the city itself and just the track was just everything about it was just nothing what I could expect. It was, it was unique in its own way. You know, TT-wise, um, you had a not, not a bad year this year, kind of riding your own machines there, you know, uh, chipping away your second year at the TT. Are you getting there now, or you still got part of your apprenticeship to do to learn in the circuit? Um, more so, I have an, an, an idea where I'm going. It's just trying to piece it all together now and try and find the places that I need to go faster. At the minute, you just sort of like go to such, such a level, and then you just need to get that wee bit more. But, yeah, I'm... I'm finding my way, just chipping away at it. You know, the TT this year, you pretty much uh, rode your own machines and ran your own thing with, with you know, different bikes or different makes of bikes for each uh, class you're in. Any plans yet for 2019? Yeah, I have a few things on on, uh, on the table at the minute and especially with, with the end of the year, we finished up with RC Express, the Daffabet team and uh, to be fair, it looks like a strong possibility that's where somewhere I could be going. It's just need to piece all the things together and see what happens. Hey, now might be great if you if you do end up there, you know, so, and, and uh, will continue lo your good learning curve. Right, Joey, you've had a you know a couple of years, two years again at the T on the TT course, uh, but you've been under the kind of the wing of Ian Locker, Ian Locker Racing, you know, and uh, you, you've had some good results and been chipping away. And uh, what are your plans for nineteen? My plans for twenty nineteen is uh, what we've just announced today at the show. I'll be riding for the WH Racing team. Um, it's a much smaller team. Um, it does. It's not necessarily um, like it doesn't mean it's a bad team just because it's a smaller team. I personally think it's a, a really good team. Everyone's really confident within the team, and you know I think if we mix the ingredients right, it'll all end up really good. To be honest, I mean I've got two really competitive bikes. I've got um, a 600, a really good 600 Yamaha, and BMW Stocker, which is really good. We've got our own bike as well to do a bit of testing on in Spain and stuff, so I can get used to the get used to the thousands. So, yeah, I mean, we're in line for a good season. Hopefully, we can carry the progress on from from um, from this year. Regarding uh, a super twin ride, a lightweight, we're not sure what's happening yet. There's there's a few options on the table. That Norton looks really good, but I don't think anyone can get their hands on them. Um, but you know, if I, I think if I'm on the pattern, I should have another good run at the Northwest, another good run at the Ulster, and hopefully, if all goes well, we'll get be on the podium at the TT in the lightweight. And any plans, British Championship-wise? Yeah, well, we're just taking as it comes. Really, we're definitely going to be doing five to six rounds of of British Championship, whether it's in Super Sport, Super Stock, or Superbike. Um, still, not 100% sure what we're doing, but we're definitely going to be in the BSB paddock for quite a few rounds. You know, 2018, the weather was fabulous for the TT, of course, as we all know, and, and, and not just the lap records that went in every class, but kind of the, they were personal best everywhere. My question is, of course, can you both lift your games again for 2019? I think, I, I was saying earlier, it's, it's really difficult because once you have a string of really good results, you have to follow them up. You can't just go back to where you were. You've got to keep progressing and progressing and progressing, and if you don't, no one's going to be interested in you. You go off the radar completely and you're on your ass. So I think it's carrying the momentum on, which is the most important thing. I mean, the TT this year was great. We were out every night of practice, had loads and loads and loads of laps. So um, if we can get, if we can better at the TT, I'll be really happy. But it's also the, the, the North West and the Ulster. I want to have some good runs there as well. It's going to be hard to better the, the run that I had on the pattern. But then again, at the Northwest, that was the first ever time I rode the pattern. So maybe if we go back with the pattern again, we should be should have a really good ride. Hey, Paul, you know, I had Adam McLean here yesterday and uh, Derek McGee, and I was teasing him a little bit. And I told him to turn around and look at that big trophy behind and how long is it going to be before you're going to lift that big one? Yeah, that's, you know, that's that, that's the dream, isn't it? You know, and to be fair, with the way I've been riding, just I stepped on that RC Express uh, ZX10, you know, I really find my feet on it really fast. So like that's my, my main aim this year is that, to be fair like the wee bikes are such such fun and all but at the end of the day nobody comes just to see the wee bikes they're all there for the big money boy so uh like that that's my main priority this year is to try and really focus on it and uh 
just keep chipping away and trying to get as close to the front as I can. Sweet. Well, lads, enjoy the rest of the motorcycle live and the very best of luck for 2019. Cheers. Thank you very much, Steve.